Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video and welcome back to Sugar Islands Adventures. Today we're going to give you a ship tour mm -hmm. of Celebrity Eclipse. We're going to show you around top to bottom, front to back, mm -hmm. show you everything you need to know about the cruise ship. So if you plan on coming on this ship, you'll know what to expect. Exactly. If you're not coming on this ship, well, hopefully we make you feel like you're here with us so you feel like you are cruising on the ship. So without any further ado, let's get this ship tour started. Let's go. you off like we usually do at the highest point on the ship which is deck 16 the solstice deck and that is at the very front of the ship so it's a windy day outside so if you're hearing any wind excuse the wind basically there's a lot of loungers up here that's the next deck down basketball soccer their sports deck that's Shug. Hey, Shug. So, yeah, just lots of, lots of loungers up here. Uh, deck 16 is only on the front of the ship. There is no deck 16 on the back of the ship. But it's the same on both sides. Loungers over there. And some more loungers over here. There's no elevator access to this deck, so you have to be able to go up the stairs to get to this point. Looks like beautiful views up here, especially if there's not a lot of wind and a lot of sun up here. If you want to get your suntan on, this would be the place to do it, besides the pool deck, of course. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of loungers, so I don't even think there would ever be a problem of trying to find a spot. Yeah. That's a lot. Unless you want to get right up to the glass to be able to see but outside of that, yeah, loungers everywhere. Shouldn't have any problem finding one. We are now on deck 15. We're still on the front of the ship. You just saw from the uh, previous clip there, the sports deck is on 15. Let's go take a glimpse of that. You've got some more loungers here. And there is the sports deck. So if you want to get a game of basketball in. Yeah, kind of odd. Today is a fun day at sea, and there's nobody here playing. Yeah, for uh, the cleanest ship on the planet, that Jordan basketball backboard. It needs a little cleaning up. It needs a little cleaning. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it from here. And for those of you who like pickleball, this is also where you would play that at also. All right, and again, that view, that is just gorgeous. You can see the helicopter pad below. Again, if you're hearing the wind, sorry about the wind. It is very windy up here. Let's move on. All right, we're here on deck 15 forward, and this is the camp at sea for kids. So if you adults want to kind of have some mommy time, daddy time, you can bring <laughs> your children here and you don't have to worry about them because they do monitor them very closely. Drop them off. So that's considered the X club. And then on the other side here, you've got the teens only X club. So for those of you who want to drop your teens off <laughs> and enjoy yourself, this is where they would come. And they keep them occupied, plenty of games, arts, crafts. Yeah, we don't want to go inside either one. Nobody wants their kids on video, so. But at least you guys know where they're at. Yeah, deck the, 15 forward. Yep, the X Club. Also, there's no outside access to this area of the ship. You've got to come in the ship and then on a 14 and then take the elevator up to 15 to get, or, to get into the X Club. Now we are on deck 15, back of the ship. And we got the lawn club. Okay, so here is where is the lawn club. What cruise ship do you know that actually have grass? Yeah, that is just That's beautiful. Cool. Let's see what's the sign say. Uh -uh. Oh. Show your love for the lawn club. Step lightly. 
remove high heels and keep the deck furniture on the deck okay they want to preserve it make it last look good looks like it needs Beautiful. to be looks like it needs to be watered a little more <laughs> wonder when they water it i love this this is the first cruise ship i've seen with grass that's very cool oh, here's, here's the glass pot. blowing you can actually participate in that it is a fee to do it or you can sit in the audience and watch How cool is that? You actually get to experience it and do it yourself. Again, it is a fee. Um, I'm pretty sure it stocks off about $113. It is only for 20 minutes, but it's the experience that you will get from doing this. Yeah, and of course you get to take it home. Yeah, look at all the different ones that people have made. Yeah. Oh, that heart is very cool. That's really cool. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that, guys. That is cool. So yeah, they've got different games that you can play. Oh, the grass just make you want to sit on it and have a picnic. <laughs> All right, you can take this little walkway. It takes you around the grassy area there where they're playing games. You can get to the very back of the ship. How you doing? You've got more seating towards the very back of the ship here. All right, we got the sunset bar. Looks good. And lastly, on deck 15, we've got the studio, portrait studio. It's closed right now, so we can't show you inside. But again, that's back of the ship on deck 15. Moving down to deck 14, we have the Ocean View Cafe. That is celebrity's version of the buffet. You can get in from either direction, either side of the ship. It wraps around the back of the ship. There's a fair amount of seating, like more than Carnival Radiance when you're but going out of the West Coast. Enough. Yeah, but not as much as like Navigator, Royal Caribbean's Navigator, but a lot more than Carnival Radiance. Yeah, we found ourselves once again circling lots of times to try to find a seat. And maybe because I want a window seat, that could be it. Yeah. Everybody right. likes a window seat. I think for lunch, we're even looking for any kind of seat, really. Boarding day, of course, is always bad. Except on Royal, the Navigator, yeah, there's always lots of seating. Even on boarding day, they're getting ready for lunch right now. So yeah, again, wraps all the way around. And a real good selection of food, I will say that. I've been very pleased. Yeah, dessert too, man. They've got a good, good selection of dessert. More seating towards the back. Hot lunch smell good. They have different themes every day for lunch. Italian, Portuguese, what have you. Mexican. You can, Mexican. You can look up. That's Shug's favorite. <laughs> yeah, you can tell huh, yeah. where I jumped in. You can look up in the app and see on the menu. It'll tell you what the, uh, what the theme is. And of course, they've got their free lemonade, water, fruit punch, coffees. They have these stations throughout. 
And then a little outside area. Yeah, some more outside seating. Yeah, and this would be the Ocean View Bar. There's also a bar inside the Ocean View Cafe. And you are at the back of the ship. <laughs> Beautiful views all the way around. All right, still on deck 14. This would be considered midship, I guess, in between the front and the back of the ship. This is where you're going to find your running track. Or in yeah. our case, walking track. Walking track. <laughs> well, no, in our case, no track because we're not walking. Oh, you weren't supposed to tell them that. Or running. <laughs> but we intend on trying yeah <laughs> again sorry guys if you hear all that wind it is very windy out here it is it is extremely windy you got the pool deck right below us down there we'll get to that in a bit lots of lounge chairs here Master grill, lots Master of places bar. to relax like we said it's kind of cool up on the deck right now and windy so not too many people there are some <laughs> some crazy kids in the pool Kids are always crazy. This is the master grill. Oh, this so this is delicious burgers. Work. Yeah, and this is where you can get your hamburgers, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, French fries, French fries, good French fries. All that stuff here. It's complimentary, of course. There's usually a line for it. Those Smells good. Smell good. And then on the flip side, excuse me. You got the master bar over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, master bar. How you doing? Good. Get all your drinks right over here, and of course, more lounge chairs all around the pool. Now we're at the front of the ship. This is the Sky Observation Lounge. If you want a little peace and quiet, this is where you come. Yeah, it's very peaceful. Though. Oh, yeah. This is... You don't hear any of the outside. I think I could sit up here, play me some solitaire, and maybe take a nap. Yeah. So if you want to get away from the crowd and the noise. Yeah, and of course, you got a bar up here. Very nice. And then at night, this is a club. This is where the DJ will be. They have a band. Got a nice piano. Man, I love piano music. The stage up there. Drums. I'll have to try and come back at night, see if we can get some of this music in. And on the opposite end of the Sky Observation Lounge is the Sky Conference Center. They've got something going on in there right now, so we don't want to go in there and disturb them. But if you want to book a conference, that's where it's going to be. Moving on to Deck 12, Solarium, Spa. We'll get to the Solarium in a minute. We've got the Spa over here. Hello. How are you guys doing? I love you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ready for Halloween. There it is. <laughs> okay. Right, so now we're hitting the fitness center. As usual, lots of window view. No excuse to not exercise when you're on a cruise ship, unless your name is Alan and should. Yeah. <laughs> we always got excuses. We're too busy creating these videos for you guys. Mm. Okay. But it's nice. They got a little bit of everything as far as the exercise equipment. Yeah, good selection of cardio machines, some free weights. Great view while you're working out. Okay. 
Okay. I feel like they're having a class going yeah. on. Oh, okay, like a little spa class. All right, nice size gym. Got some towels here for you, some water, lemon water. Got the nail shop over here if you want to get your nails done. All right, here you have your salon and barber shop. You can get that fresh cut, get back right after swimming in the pool, style your hair. <laughs> us ladies, we can hop in that chair and put us back together. Got a selection of perfumes and colognes. All right, then we go to the solarium, which is, of course, adults only. I'm surprised there's nobody in the pool. <laughs> I know what I like about this pool is closed in. Yeah, and they're heated, so yeah, we'll be back here in a in a minute to hop in there. The pools outside are well, the air temperature's a little cooler, but in here it's nice. So yeah, I'm surprised there's no one in there, but we will be in there soon. Lots of seating in here also, but as you can see, most of it is taken up. I'm really surprised that nobody's actually in the pool. Come out of the solarium. You have the slush bar, but it's closed, so it's most likely only open on certain days and time. All right, we made our way to deck 12. This is the pool deck. Everybody out sunbathing, hanging out in the pool, playing some volleyball. And then you also have your pool bar, which is convenient having a pool bar right here at the pool. So let's see, watch a little game of volleyball. <laughs> All right, everybody's enjoying themselves. That's what we love to see. Feels good. And over there on the stage, you got the DJ. So you probably could request songs if you like. Get out there and dance. They have where you can play games. I call it toss across. I don't know what Alan call it, but that's very fun. <laughs> All right. And then there's our DJ. All right, so this is how it looks from the opposite side. So this is your pool area. Now down to deck 10. Of course, there is no 13 on a cruise ship. And deck 11 is staterooms. Deck 10, we have the library. and an actual library with books in it. Most of the cruises we go on, it's the library, but there's no books, just empty shelves. And that's it for the library. Nice quiet area, another quiet area if you want to come indoors and relax, read a book or play some card games. Also, you've got the elevators. Um, they're pretty fast, really. So they've got them on both sides of, I, can say, I guess you could say midship, midship left and midship right. And then on both sides of the ship, there's elevators here. And then you can see through the glass elevators on the other side. And like I said, they, uh, they move pretty quick. You don't have to wait a long time. Yeah, we have not waited a long time for elevator at all. Yeah, no. I like, I think this is so cute, the little this and you can... Look, I'm messing up the elevator oh, now. Now, yes. now we're stuck here. <laughs> I didn't push up and down. Uh -huh. All right, it's going to be a while before the next floor. <laughs> right, we just got through saying they're quick. Yeah. Down to deck nine. We've got the card room. Another quiet, relaxing area. 
Yeah, I got board games, yeah. chess cards. Checkers, Scrabble. Oh, Chinese checkers. Man, I remember playing that when I was oh, a kid gosh, with my sisters. Yes. Backgammon, okay. But I couldn't cheat as well with <laughs> Chinese checkers as I could the original ones. Okay. I could. Your brothers are probably cheating with you too, so. <laughs> exactly. But, yeah, that's the card room and get another quiet area for you to relax and play some games or do a little light reading. Everything else on deck nine was state rooms. All of deck eight is state rooms. Now we move to deck seven. We've got Team Earth. Check out that globe. Oh, I would love to How have that. How fun we could take that back home with us. Yeah, I've got this fatuation with globes for some reason. Yes. And that is a globe. So, again, another place to relax. Um, computer access. And play some games, light reading. Very nice. I love these relaxing, peaceful Very areas peaceful. of the ship. Yeah. You've also got the concierge desk here. Um, really helpful. We had an issue with Shug's card. For some reason, it didn't have Elite on there, so we came over here and the young lady hooked us right up and gave us a new card. The rest of this deck is also state rooms, and this area here is also Team Earth. It is basically, you can say, in the middle of the cruise ship on deck seven. And deck six is all stator rooms, happens to be where our room, our room is, is, but yeah. you've also got the Celebrity Eye Lounge here. How you doing? Hello. Lots of Apple product, my favorite product. Yeah, you can also get on the Apple desktop if you need to get on a computer. Very nice. Apple's got an event coming up at the end of this month. Can't wait to see what they got. Have a great day. Well, we have made it to deck five. So we are going into the Ensemble Lounge, Michael's Club. This is where you're gonna find the specialty restaurants, which are an additional charge. Very cool That's artwork. That's one thing I like about Celebrity. They really got some cool art pieces yeah. and stuff on the wall. Yes, they do. It's very chic. It's very <laughs> cheeky. Yeah, so here's Michael Club. Michael's members Club. only. <laughs> and a cool, oh, and a cool little dog. And Morano is over there to the right. Oh, okay. There is Morano, and that is an additional charge. Hello, welcome. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Make your beach inside. <laughs> Thank you. How are you doing? Very good. So one, one, nine. Oh, it is beautiful in here. Very yes, nice. It's very chic, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, you too. Got a piano and some instruments, band instruments. All right, we got the Tuscan grill. That's also an additional charge. More pretty artwork. Got cuisine over here. Very elegant. Very elegant. 
really good. Wow. And of course, an additional charge. All of these are additional charges because it's their specialty restaurants. I like how they put them all in the same same area. Yeah, you don't have to go from one floor to the next or opposite end of the ship. And we've got blue. This is for the aqua class guests. And the Tuscan Grill, which again is also an additional charge specialty. This is a little livelier here. Again, for Tucson Grill, it starts at $55. And that's a dinner price. And a beautiful view. It's all about the view when you're cruising, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. So that was the Thank back you. half of the I ship on deck five, well. <laughs> which is all the specialty, specialty Same. dining, all gathered up into one. Oh, yeah. Look at that so delicious yummy. ice cream. Yes, yes, yes. And we have the toppings, yeah. yeah. Okay, oh wow. Chocolate, my favorite. Mm. Oh, I have to give you some of that strawberry when we come back. Strawberry? Yes. All right, coffee al basio. You can see that, if I pronounced it right. Another little coffee place, and they got some cheesecake there. So that's all coffee, El Basio, El Basio. And then over here we got sushi on five. That's another specialty dining. So here now we're entering the art gallery. And there's another bar here also. Yeah, this is the world class bar right here. Mm -hmm. All right, we got exquisites. That's Effie, is that where you get your little... Yeah, that's where we've been getting our little rubies. You get a little necklace when you get on board for the ladies, the beautiful ladies. Mm -hmm. So here's what it looked like, and then you can collect all the different ones every day. Yeah, so they give you the necklace for free, and they give you the little, the little stones and stuff to go inside for free, and you just have to come at different times to collect them. Artesian Studio. Lots of jewelry. Pieces of time. So I think you guys know what kind of shop this is. <laughs> watches. <laughs> Lots of watches. Omega, I'm sure they got Rolex in there. More artwork. The collection. You can get your... Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Very good. 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 Get your beautiful oh, Rolexes. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. How are you? Sir? Very good. And on this side to your right, that's the men's shop. Let's see if I can get that in there. There we go. Lots of shopping. They have some really cool artwork. And Shug mentioned it earlier about some of the, the art pieces that we see around the ship. But yeah, they got some, some really nice artwork. I love oil paintings. We got Moda. Yeah, this is where the women, we can buy our purses, fanny packs, <laughs> and backpacks. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. Yeah, that is. That's pretty. Okay. Probably more exciting for you than for me. <laughs> I know. 
but very nice. This is where you're going to find your photo gallery. That was another thing about this cruise ship. I don't know if it's all celebrity or just the Eclipse. Again, this is our first time. If you watched our other vlogs, this is our first time on Celebrity. They didn't have a, a boarding day picture when we got on board, which that's the first time we've seen that. Every cruise, cruise ship and cruise line we've been on, they've had a boarding day shot where you could take a picture there. <clears throat> so we ended up coming back here. Real nice gentleman helped us out back there, and they had backdrops. Well, it's a green screen, but they put in backdrops. They put in a backdrop of the cruise ship for us so we could get our boarding day picture. Yeah, he was really, his name is Daniel. He was really good and helpful. Yeah, really helpful. But yeah, you can get your professional photos done here. And they have, I think it's like $19 for one. Let's take a look. Now they don't have that sign out, but I think it was like $19.99 for one, but then you can pay like 40 bucks, something like that for a group of pictures, like a bunch of pictures. If you took, you know, pictures at formal dinner and that type of thing. And we've got Jasmine. That's where you're going to find all of your perfumes and your colognes. And then finally we have the Eclipse Theater. This is where they have all of their shows. Bingo. Looks like they've got... Well, we're looking forward. It's got to be similar to like a what's bingo going on, on right now. Exactly what's up there. In the old column, 070, 061. 061. As we are playing for over $700. 061. To all our winners, you want to give the casino half an hour out to this session, and you can head straight right. there to get your down to deck four we are almost through the ship so we are at the back end of the ship this is the moonlight sonata dining room this is their main dining room it's on deck four and deck three mm -hmm. let's see if we can get in here and give you a glimpse beautiful dining room I love these cruise ships and the way they set up their main dining rooms. And this is on two different levels too, so it's going to hold a lot of people. Yeah. So they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. And of course it's complimentary. They have different themes, kind of like the, um, the buffet, they have different themes each night. I didn't see any of my favorite chicken cordon bleu. And of course, Shug's Lobster, that's for seven, seven night or longer cruises. And this is a six. But still, beautiful dining room. Coming out of the main dining room. This is the Cellar Master. For all you wine lovers, this is where you would come. They also have wine tasting. And I believe that started at $35. And it's closed right now, of course. Another bar on the opposite side of the ship. I'm gonna tell you, if you're thirsty on this ship, there's a bar everywhere. You never have to worry about finding one. Of course, there's not always employees staffed at the bars. But there's a bar everywhere you go. Mm. All right, this is the Martini Bar. They have a little show. They do a demonstration, which will be happening tonight at 8 o'clock. I don't know if we'll be here to be able to film it. This is actually ice. It's cold. <laughs> yeah, so I'm sure it is a cool show. We make our way towards the middle of the ship. And we've got the Fortunes Casino. This is not the Casino Royale. Is that, is that Royal Caribbean? Yeah, I think it's Royal Caribbean. All right, we got lots of tables in the middle, blackjack, poker. Let's see if they got a craps table. They got lots of slot machines. So if you're feeling lucky, come on 
Yeah, I miss those old school days, though. I want to hear that money coming the down. down. Yeah, like I don't, yeah. I don't want to go in back to a card or a paper printout. Maybe I'm old school, huh? We got craps, that roulette. A full of yeah, this is nice. Right, right outside the uh, casino, we've got shopping, shopping stores over there. We also got a bar. Let's walk over there and take a look at it. There's music playing in the background, so I'm trying not to catch a copyright while I'm showing you guys around here. How many of you miss the old school days in the casino where you get to hear the money clanking in the little tray below? How many of you don't care? You just want to win? Put it in the comments below. Let's see here. There we go. So, yeah, there's the bar for the casino. Morning. They had the Miami Dolphins game playing here on Sunday. Unfortunately, they lost. So, on the left-hand side here, we've got a bunch of shops again, or a few shops. There's the Glitz. They've got jewelry in there and some high-end clothing. Serendipity here. A little bit of everything. Watches, sunglasses. Uh oh, two for 30. That's going to get Suge's attention. Anything that's a sale. Got some more t shirts here. The Sun Dialer, the Eclipse Shop. We were in there on boarding day, picked up our ceramic ship and our magnet and our Christmas ornament. Sorry, I would take you in the shops, but just for time's sake, so you guys aren't watching a two hour video, just letting you know what's there. Got the spirits and such. Pick up your juicy juice there. It's a joke Suge and I have, that's what we call it. <laughs> I know, I was thinking, they're like, what's Juicy Juice? All right. Got future cruise. If you want to book your next cruise while you're on board, this is where you would do it. Get good deals, credits. Got some shuffleboard. Shug's a killer at that. And there's a game. Maybe you guys know the name of it. It don't matter to me. You throw the bean bags at that board. You gotta try and get them in that hole. We don't know what the name of that is. I call it toss across. Toss across. But I know that's not the actual name for it. And then at the front of the ship again. We've got the Eclipse Theater. This is the first floor of it. It's on deck four and deck five. So this is the entrance if you want to go in on deck four. We've got Celebrity Central. Yeah, it over. Go ahead. I'm oh. Pull over there and park. Oh, okay. okay. Where it says free parking. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. All right, Celebrity Central here. Don't want to go in and disturb what they're doing. Okay. We have moved down to deck three. So Moonlight Sonata, again, that's the main dining room. We already showed that to you. This is the lower level. Again, it's two floors, deck three and deck four. And then we have another specialty dining here. Lumine. You guys think I pronounced that correctly? Sounds good. It sounds good. Yeah. Sure, you want to let us yeah, in there. Let's go check it out. This is for sweets. This is sweet dining.
And of course, they're not open yet. Oh, I like it. Oh, it's like yeah. a glass reflection. Yeah. Another beautiful dining room. And again, this is for sweet guests. Let me know in the comments below if you think I pronounced that correctly. Or if I butchered it. Okay, we've got the shore excursion desk here. Again, on deck three. If you want to book your shore excursions, if you haven't already, that's the place to do it. And guess what? There's another bar. <laughs> Just in case you're thirsty. Every couple of feet. <laughs> <laughs> Over on the other side, we've got guest services, guest relation. If you have any problems, this is where you're going to come. And hopefully they can get you taken care of. There's also an ATM if you need to take out any cash for anything, like when you're on your shore excursions. That's it for deck three. The rest of deck three is staterooms. When you come down to deck two, um, you can see around the middle of the ship, you've got your medical facility there. And then you've also got uh, three different boarding areas on deck two. And that's it. That's everything that's accessible. Hopefully we didn't miss anything. Okay guys, that's it for our ship tour for Celebrity Eclipse. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got something out of it. Learn your way around the ship. Yeah, we enjoyed taking you around the ship. If you don't plan going on it soon, hopefully it made you feel like you were yeah. here. Okay, so if you guys aren't already members of the channel, please consider subscribing, yes. hitting the like button. We really appreciate that. It'll help us out. And if you're feeling really adventurous, mm, like yes. super duper adventurous, consider becoming a member of the channel. You get all sorts of additional perks, and it's for as low as just $5 a month. That really helps us out to continue to bring content to you guys so you can enjoy it. So with that said, thanks That's again it. for clicking on our video and, and watching. We appreciate it, and we'll see you on our next adventure. Bye. Bye.